Okay guys, recently one of you have asked me that why rectangular hollow section is used for torso design. Okay, so this video is going to find the answer of this question. And if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe and also if you would like to show your love and support in that case, you can join this channel. Okay, let's start. So the question is rectangular hollow section or I am just modifying this question or circular hollow section why particularly this two type of section is used for torsional design okay so i will try to give you the answer from very basic so if you find that i'm just wasting your time you can skip this video okay that's my humble request so le let's assume that this is a sapped okay of any arbitrary cross-sectional shape it's not necessarily that it has to be a circular section so this is arbitrarily cross-sectional sapped now you are applying a torsion like this and if i ask you what will be the stress distribution across this arbitrary shape due to this applied torsion just simply pause the video and try to draw the stress distribution well i know that you are quite successful to draw the stress distribution just try to draw the stress distribution like this okay if i draw a line like this and you know the maximum stress will be occurred at the farthest point of this cross section from the center and consider another line let's say this one here the same thing the maximum stress will be here then minimum or least or zero will be at the center and it varies linearly like this and let's assume another one here also the same thing always the stress will be perpendicular with the or the tangent here at the point where you are supposed to draw the stress so it is very clear to you that each and every line the maximum stress will be at the farthest point or indirectly you can say at the periphery of the shaft and minimum at the center okay so from this point we can uh, conclude two things first that maximum stress occur at periphery right and second that that at each and every line or throughout the section there will be stress so the stress actually occur throughout the section okay throughout the section so when you are designing this shaft if you remember or if you have to consider this two particular point what are the shapes available for you first well the maximum stress occur at the periphery so for that what you have to do you have to put maximum material at the outer edge let's first consider any white flange section or i section definitely here the maximum material is provided at the farthest point right so the first condition is fulfilled because you know that the maximum stress will be occurred at the periphery so that is why you have put the maximum material at the farthest point from the center no issue now come to the second point that is stress occur throughout the section so in case of an i section like this if this is the center if you draw a line like this well the stress distribution is like this so the flange will take care of the maximum of the stress and at the center there will be no stress well it's fine the same thing also applicable for this line let's say this is the torsion and the stress distribution here is like this now draw another line here now here also the stress distribution will be like this but the question is who will take care of this stress is there any material here no there is no material here the same is also valid for 
left side also there is no material so a or an i section is actually not stable under torsional load why because simply there is no material in this zone to carry this stress or this stress no confusion so what is the alternate way the alternate way is simply you have to put some material in this zone so in this zone there was no such material so simply put material here to carry the stress right and once you put material here this i section simply converted into a box section like this okay you can simply omit the web part of the i section and you have transferred your i section into a box section correct the same is also applicable for a circular section it is self explanatory right so now i think you have got the answer why rectangular hollow section or the circular hollow section is the only solution for your torsional design okay so if you love this video don't forget to share it